Why are so many people moving to Texas for business reasons? Is Texas really as business friendly as everyone says? We'll get into it right now. Hey folks, I'm Todd Tremonti, real estate broker, small business owner, several different businesses here in the great state of Texas, specifically in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, uh, but have a do business all over the state of Texas and beyond. So let's get into a conversation about whether Texas really is as business friendly as folks say, and if so, what does that actually mean for you? Why do so many people move here? Why have our governors historically poached businesses from other states and countries, of course? And why has Texas earned this reputation? Well, number one, our governors have made a really big deal about it from the highest levels of the state government and all the way down into mayors running elections based on their friendliness to business. It has not been popular in Texas to be anti-business, although that is some of the accusations that get thrown out from one state to another, one governor to another, mayor to another, and certainly at the congressional legislative level. This is not a political video, though. Just want to talk about the fact that Texas has historically been an attractor of businesses from other parts of the world and country because of the friendliness to business. We certainly believe we are. The evidence is there. Massive international brands like Toyota, like Frito-Lay and Pepsi, like State Farm Insurance, like Tesla, uh, SpaceX, and others have moved to the Dallas-Fort Worth area specifically. Obviously, Houston has a huge influence in the oil and gas industry, North Texas, Dallas-Fort Worth area, natural gas, and others. But as a state, we absolutely back up that reputation to be business friendly. Now, here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, been a huge attractor of businesses like the ones we just mentioned and many, many others. So what are the reasons for that? We've mentioned taxes a little bit, but our state and our major metropolitan areas have offered incentives, just blatantly wooed and enticed big businesses to move here. But even once those incentives go away, the absence of a state income tax is really attractive to those businesses for themselves and their employees so that their people can move here and make more money or keep more of the money that they're making. So it's it's just a tremendously attractive business environment. And, and, and one aspect of what the Dallas-Fort Worth area has to offer specifically is skilled labor for those businesses that move here to add jobs, right? And so you've got uh, an unbelievable variety of higher educational opportunities with, you know, uh, I'm always gonna miss one, but you've got Southern Methodist University, Texas Christian University, University of Texas at Dallas, University of Texas at Arlington, University of North Texas, Texas Women's University, Collin College, and on and on and on. Again, I'm sure I missed one because there's a bunch, um, but you've got schools that are known for technology training, biomedical sciences, law enforcement, and on and on and on. So you have a plethora of reasons that a business would move here and bring employees. And then you have a plethora, plethora of reasons a business would move here to add and scale and grow. Um, and again, you've seen small companies, mid-sized companies, and massive companies already make that move. You know, in the media, you hear more about the Tesla, SpaceX, Toyota moves, but here on our on a local level, you know, we can assure you that there's, you know, dozens of small and mid-sized businesses coming here um, for every single one of those big name, obviously. Uh, as, a, as an example here, just as a real estate broker, we have had many people move their businesses here and we help the owners or executives buy, sell, uh, primarily buy homes when they make a move here. Oftentimes their, their whole staffs are relocating here and we're helping them serve their employees in finding homes. And we could do that for you as well. But occasionally there's an even further agenda 
where those businesses are moving here to establish, you know, full on residence or, or location here so that in a year or two or three, they can sell those businesses and not deal with the massive tax burdens and regulation burdens that they would have in other states. We had one specific example of a, a, what most people would call a small business. It was kind of a mid-sized software company that we helped them move here, get established. And then a couple of years later, they sold for a very large uh, sum, all cash, uh, and the tax ramifications were massive. And, and at the time, I didn't even know that was their core reason for moving here but it was a heck of a lot more than getting to a personally more tax friendly location. It was for the business benefits of that. Now, if you're a business specifically thinking about the Dallas Fort Worth area, or you're a person specifically thinking about the Dallas Fort Worth area to move here and start a business, having an international airport, having higher education, having incredible hospital systems, having a great highway system, being centrally located really to all of the United States and all of North America is a massive attractor. We've got shipping distribution centers coming up everywhere. Uh, many other parts of the country often are struggling more than we are in regard to transportation, manufacturing, because we have such an incredible hub of all of those things here in one spot. So um, it's really been a huge opportunity for small businesses of really every size. I mean, we had a YouTube um, you know, viewer in the comment section talking about moving here to start up a, a boba shop, boba tea, you know, a, a, a residential beverage provider. And we talked about the diversity of the DFW area, not only ethnically speaking, but financially speaking, uh, residential, uh, you know, real estate diversity, but also uh, commercial space, restaurant space, warehouse space, all of shopping and retail, all of the differences that we have here. You could say you're moving to Dallas, Fort Worth, and that could mean about a million different things. Uh, the ethnic diversity, the financial diversity, the construction style, rural, urban, suburban, everything in between, really all options exist. And a lot of times we say to people who are moving here, because we help a lot of people make the move here and buy their homes and start businesses, that you can find pretty much anything you're looking for in Dallas, Fort Worth. You can find you know, rich communities that celebrate one food tradition, one holiday tradition, one faith tradition, uh, a, a different ethic of financial stewardship, um, you know, multi-generational housing or the opposite, you know, um, it's all here. There, there are very few things that you might be looking for, very few communities that you might feel at home in that you can't find in Dallas, in Fort Worth or in a community around or in between those two massive cities. The Dal Worthington Metropolitan Statistical Area, which includes Dallas, Fort Worth, and Arlington, and certainly McKinney, Frisco, and beyond now, is such a massive area. The general rule that you get is business friendly, tax friendly, investment friendly, um, welcoming, hospitable. But after that, you really do have just about everything you could ever want. You've got wealthy areas. You've got some lower income areas. You've got big houses. You've got small houses. You have areas on the edge where you've got tiny home communities coming up. You've got in-town urban. You've got every type of suburb you could ever think of. And then you've got sort of um, urban rural, trendy rural, but then you've got farm, ranch, horse properties, ranchettes, you know, two acre homes. Our team actually specializes in one to 10 acre properties, including neighborhoods and, and new construction, but it's all here. And for that reason, if you've got a community that's friendly to people, to individuals, to families, then by definition, it's friendly to business because that's what businesses need. But you start looking at those peripheral items like technology, healthcare, transportation, distribution, labor, technology, resources, materials, it's all here. And that's one of the reasons that Texas as a whole is super attractive to businesses moving here or individuals and families moving here to start a business or to buy a business or to expand a business. So if you're asking me and we talk to the businesses and the owners of those businesses all the time, 
DFW is one of, if not the most, business-friendly place to move or live in the entire world. Now, I am obviously a business owner here. I'm originally from Houston. We moved here knowing we had every opportunity ever. And as we've stayed here, we've opened multiple other businesses and really had every opportunity to succeed. The access to the labor, the access to communication, technology, uh, growth, you know, uh, office space, uh, residential space, parks, recreation, wildlife, um, education, really all of the above. It's an incredible place to live. And for that reason, it's an incredible place to have a business. But beyond just the living benefits, you've got local and state level government that want this to be a place that businesses want to be. So if you're thinking about making a move to start a business, buy a business, or move your business here, check out DFW. If we can help you, your employees, your future employees, your staff buy a home or begin a business here, we'd love to be a resource to you as a real estate brokerage with offices in Richardson, which is on the Dallas side and West Fort Worth, obviously on the Fort Worth side. Our contact information is below or find us online at toddtremontiteam.com. If we did not answer your question or if we didn't talk about something you'd like to know more about, Drop that in the comment section. We read every single one. We can answer you there. Maybe we'll shoot another video. Or if you are ready for us to help you make a move, let us know that in the comment section. Or just click a link or call a phone number in the description below this video. And we'll talk to you in the next video.